Hey everyone, it's Project SPC and I'm back today to do another video on the AMD Mini 5800U. Now I have the gyro app open here, the one made by Ben from the community. Um, let's go over setting up for a racing game. So I'm going to be playing Forza Horizon 5 here in just a moment. And I've got the controller companion here open. Let's go through setting up for a racing game. So let's go over to profiles. And I'm just going to use the default one for the time being. And let's scroll down. Let's take a look at what kind of settings we have here. So let's go down to the motion control. So here is an important thing for a steering game. So let's not worry about the multipliers here. That's something that you can fine tune down the road. Let's do gyro steering axis. So roll would mean like if you're going to be turning, you're going to be doing this motion. And we really want to set that to a yaw, like so. And that means when we steer, it's going to be like this. So we're going to set that over to, uh, to yaw. Now let's go down here and let's select style of input. And let's do joystick steering. And I want it to be the left stick. And I'm going to select one of these uh, enable buttons. I don't want LT. I actually want always on. All right. And then let's go down here to additional settings here. You can actually set the range for steering. So you can get uh, kind of a feel for how far you need to turn to get the max input. I think the range that's by default is pretty good. We're going to start with that and we can fine tune that later. So let's go back out here and then let's scroll up and let's say update profile. And I think I have to fix the uh, invert here. Uh, we'll test it out when we get into the game. I think I have to... Uh, actually, let's just pull up a gamepad tester real quick. And we can verify. And let's do that right there. And then let's... And we can actually see right now... It's steering. Okay, perfect. All right, I think we're all set for our game. Let's get into it. All right, we're about to head into the game here. Now, I have the FPS shown up here on the top. We have the CPU package power and the GPU clock here. This is the charge right down here. So we're using about 17 watts, which would get us about two and a half uh, hours right now, but that's going to change once we get into the game. Now, remember, we're also going to be using gyro. This is set at the default TDP, 15, 20, 25. So we're going to see periods where it goes above 15 watts. But after some time, it should drop down close to 15 watts here. I have it set at 800p, and I do have dynamic resolution on. And we do see that GPU clock heading up to 2000 megahertz. Oh. Oh. All right. I got to get used to this uh, gyro steering here. And rewind a little bit further. All right, let's resume. And steer. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. All right, I can get the hang of this. Oh, that's that's me. <laughs> All right, let's rewind again. 
All right, there we go. See if I can recover. Alright, well, that's fine. Alright, so it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to to get this gyro down good. Uh, it also doesn't help that I'm looking through the camera while doing this. Alright. Well, you get the fact that you can use the gyro for this. Uh, this may not be the game for it, or maybe the settings have to be tuned quite a bit here. I think in the settings, I'd like to make this a little bit more sensitive. I think that's my problem right now. I think I feel like I have to go too far to actually get the steering to work. So uh, I think in the settings, I could probably adjust this to make it a little bit better. Actually, let's do that right now. Let's actually go in and uh, let's let's make it so that the angle is a little bit less. Yeah, let's try 23 maybe. I don't know. And let's go ahead, update the profile. Let's head back into the game and see if that helped us out at all. All right. Alright, this seems to be better. I guess I can't just like, uh, 
with the accelerator and expect it to just work. Alright, so now you got a feel for how it actually behaves. Um, we did see the GPU clock GPU clock go up to 2000 megahertz, which is good. We're about at that 10 watt charge rate, so um, you know, at this kind of uh, power, we expect a little under two hours of battery life. Uh, otherwise, this, this is awesome. Gyro works, and if you don't want to use that, you can certainly use this. I think I'd have to get used to using the gyro on this game. Uh, Horizon Chase Turbo was a little bit easier to work with. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough for now. All right, so we get to see the gyro in action in a racing game. Um, maybe this wasn't the game, or maybe I need to fine-tune the settings a bit to get that just right. Um, but otherwise, it plays great. We're getting 60 frames a second. Uh, that is with the 800p dynamic resolution on, but certainly this looks great and it's playable and the gyro works. What more could you ask for? Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe. I got more videos coming. I will do some comparisons between the Intel and the AMD one. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.